What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to another review video. Big shout out to Egratech for reaching out to me and asking me to review one of their portable power stations. This is the Sonic 1200 watt. Egratech also sent me this portable solar panel, which is kind of cool. You can uh, add it on when you purchase the power station. I'm going to unbox this thing, show you what comes inside the box and show you how you can pretty much charge your e-bike for free if you're camping or whatnot. All right, let's get this thing up on here. Read some, uh, some of the things on the box. It's got G-Wave technology, G-Flow technology, lightweight design, outdoor charging, outdoor fast charging. This is a 1200 watt model. So it should be good for charging like light e-bikes or chargers that are about, you know, one and a half, two amps, things like that. All right, some other things on the side of the box here. Uh, they're saying that you can charge a notebook 15 times, outdoor camping light for 90 hours, iPad, 30 cycles of charging. That's a lot of times. Mobile phone, 75 times. Pretty interesting. Let's get this thing opened up. So we got the user manual over here and I'm assuming the charger. And this is it over here. Pretty nice design, slick. I like it. Looks like we got two USB-A ports in the front, two USB-C at 100 watt. USB on and off. You can turn it on and off if you're using it. It's got a DC charger on the side we have our connection to charge it if you're gonna use the wall charger to charge this thing and there's the connection if you're gonna use the solar panel and on the other side we have two wall chargers which we're gonna use today to charge an e-bike first of all let me get this off that's always so satisfying. We got the user manual, of course, which will explain some things in there. We don't need that. And over here, in this box, we have the IEC cord to plug this into the wall if you're going to charge it that way. And it looks like we got a car plug over here to charge it through a car um, charger. Don't need that. And I don't really need the wall charger. All right, let's turn this thing on. Looks like we're at 100%. This is amazing for our test. Again, this is more, um, this thing is used for a bunch of different things. We're gonna focus mainly on charging e-bikes and things like that, because that's what this channel is about. So 100%, that's cool. It has light modes, low, high, flashing, flashing even faster. That's kind of cool if you're in a campground, you want to see what you're doing. Pretty nice. I'm going to set up my situation here with the e-bike. We'll see what the e-bike's at as far as charge. And we're at 100 here. I'm going to let this thing charge the e-bike. I want to find out a few things. One is how much battery is going to be drained from the this portable battery. Where the bike is at right now, because I know it's not at 100. Um, I, I'm not sure what the percentage is. We'll see where the bike is at. And I'll set up a little clock so we can see how long it takes this thing to charge the e-bike. And once we're done with all of that, we'll see how much battery is drained from this battery. Let me set that up and I'll be right back. All right, so I got my setup all ready to go. We're gonna have this GoPro record the timer, the percentage on the battery, and I got the charger over here. So when it turns green, we know that uh, that time is done. Our bike, is at three bars out of five so let's call it about 60 percent this charger is a three amp charger and let's see what happens i'm gonna turn the unit on turn on the ac outlets plug it in we are charging start the timer we're at 99%. It shows that we're about 162 watts out. And at this rate, we can run for five hours. Let's see what happens. 
we'll check back. We are green on the charger. I just came in and saw that it was green, so I uh, stopped the timer, stopped my GoPro. We are at 56% left in the battery, and the bike is fully charged now. I'm gonna disconnect this thing, and we'll wrap things up. All right, that was awesome. Charged the e-bike right up. The e-bike, like I said, it was uh, three bars out of five, so it was somewhere between 50 and 60%, let's call it 55%, back up to 100, and our battery was at 100, even though when I started it was at 99, but we're at 55% left on this thing, so you could still run lights, charge your phone, do whatever with this battery. I reviewed the footage, and it seemed that it took about two hours, 45 minutes to charge that bike up, and I mean, if you're camping or doing uh, something like that, you're probably doing something else. So you went for a ride, the bike lost some of the battery, you're back, you're probably gonna make some food, hang out, whatever. The bike can charge in that meantime. So two hours, 45 minutes, it is what it is. And I said you can charge it for free because we got this thing over here. So you have a solar panel, which is 100 watts. You can unfold that thing. It's like a suitcase that you can unfold, plug it right back in have solar recharge your battery, and then you can go more and more and more. So pretty much free energy, charge your e-bikes, your devices. This thing is awesome also for like emergency situations, just to keep at home. Uh, you can run your refrigerator on here for like eight hours, laptops, it has wireless charging on the top. This thing is awesome. Now, one thing I didn't take into consideration is a lot of these e-bikes are about, their chargers are like one and a half amp, two amps. This charger was three amp to this particular e-bike I was charging, which means that if you have a variable speed charger, like I do on like my Suron, let's just say, I can throw that down to two amps and charge my Suron as well, which is amazing. So all in all, super impressed with this portable battery over here, insane. If you guys are interested in checking out this portable power station, I'll have a link in the description. Check that out. But that'll do it for today's experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. It really helps out the channel. If you want to see more of these reviews about e-bikes, e-scooters, Suron videos, definitely hit that subscribe button. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!